O primeiro passo para se tornar um pro gamer. Players who are at a professional level all seem to have this intense focus and devotion. They're able to dedicate most of their waking hours to training their skills without ever seeming to lose motivation. They're fully locked onto their target, whether that's becoming the greatest player or preparing for an upcoming tournament. Todo pro player tem essa aguinha, né? Todo mundo usa aguinha aqui, ó. A aguinha, ela, ela serve tanto pra te acalmar quanto pra mostrar que tu tá nervoso, tá ligado? Tu vê aqueles pro player antes do round, pega a aguinha, bebe ali, o cara tá nervoso, cara. A aguinha serve pra dar aquela acalmada. And no matter what, they seem so unshakable, completely unwilling to stray from their goal until they've achieved it. And as an ambitious competitive gamer, you've probably been inspired by pro players who are like this and thought to yourself, I would love to become a pro gamer. But chances are your next step was to hop back into a match like usual and keep playing while that thoughts and that dream slowly drifted to the back of your mind. And this process isn't uncommon. Most ambitious competitive gamers are aimlessly playing with a distant hope that someday they just might reach the pro scene, yet they're on the track to be distracted, hit obstacles, or simply lose motivation. And the reason for this is because... Diz que a maioria dos jogadores com grande potencial perdem a motivação no longo prazo, né? Isso acontece mesmo, cara. They don't have an actual plan. They don't have a proper goal for actually achieving that dream. And if you truly desire to become a pro gamer, the first step is creating a proper plan to get there. You can almost think of the journey to the pro scene as an adventure across the ocean. You need to properly set your course, identify the path to get to your destination, and then implement the proper plan for getting there. Without setting your course or having a plan of action, you're essentially sailing off in a random direction without a clear path or even a clear destination. Ele diz sobre um objetivo, né, cara? Normalmente, o que ele tá falando é pra gente comparar como se fosse num oceano, né? Se você quer ser um pro player, você tem que ter um objetivo. Então você traça o seu, a sua meta, a sua reta, né? Enquanto os outros jogadores meio que vão meio perdidos ali no oceano. Acho que é mais ou menos isso que ele quis dizer. But when you know exactly where you want to go, you know ah, exactly how to get there, the journey becomes chegar. much, much easier. Ah. So if you have the ambition or a distant dream of becoming a professional esports player, then it's time to turn that dream into action. It's time é. to plan your life to the tá pro scene. É isso que ele fala, transformar o sonho em ações, filho. Sonhar é muito fácil, todo mundo sonha ser pro player, né? Agora quem vai agir para ser pro player, tá ligado? Programming your brain to enhance your focus and discover new opportunities to get closer to the pro scene. Legal, legal. And so the first step to becoming a pro gamer is to define your objective and then begin to clarify what it will take to achieve it. And by simply Definir doing this, you will begin to change your brain ele. and program it to subconsciously notice new opportunities and help you to stay focused. Unfortunately, most people fail to take advantage of this. They make a big mistake when they're setting their goals. And that big mistake is that they set their aim too low. Because most people are convinced that they can only accomplish mediocre things, they tend to set mediocre goals, and they struggle to actually achieve them. And this happens for the simple reason that if we set mediocre, realistic goals, we find it hard to develop the enthusiasm to jump over even the smallest of obstacles in order to accomplish it. But if we have a clear, exciting goal, we will be willing to battle through just about anything in order to achieve it. So the first step to setting your goals is to make sure that you're setting your aims high and creating plans to reach an exciting outcome. Whether that is to win a specific LAN tournament, get into a prestigious college with an esports scholarship, or actually make it onto a prestigious team. And whatever this big goal is, let it be your guiding star for your smaller goals. Let it act as a compelling destination that will make all the effort worthwhile. Now the second step is to break this big long-term goal into smaller steps. So consider what steps do you need to take in order to get to this big goal? 
Legal, exemplo, legal, legal, legal. Your first step might Ele fala para você diminuir, fazer em etapas o seu objetivo, né? Você não vai dar um pulo maior que a perna, então fazer, fazer as coisas em etapas, tá ligado? Consist of achieving a certain rank or level of skill. Step two might be to find a semi-professional team or organization that you can start to enter tournaments with. Step three might be to seek out local tournaments or seek out online tournaments that you can enroll in. Legal, and legal. step four might be to reach out to pro-level teams tá exemplo, once you have the tournament um, track dois, record and leaderboard ranking that they can't look away from. So once you have your overarching long-term goal and the general steps to achieve it, it's time to break down each step into immediate measurable goals. For example, your first step might be to achieve a master level rank. And with this step in mind, you can begin brainstorming exactly what you need to do in order to achieve ah, this. Viu, viu? Quando você tem um objetivo, por exemplo, seu objetivo é subir de ranking. Você tem que botar dentro da sua cabeça um brainstorm. O que seria brainstorm? Seria um monte de ideias, né? De como você faz para alcançar esse ranking, sabe? Quais objetivos você tem que passar para alcançar esse ranking? Eu acho que é mais ou menos isso que ele tá querendo dizer. This rank. Now, of course, to rank up, you'll obviously need to improve your game knowledge and mechanical skills. Você tem que melhorar o seu conhecimento do jogo e a sua mecânica para poder chegar nesse objetivo, né? Isso daí é o primeiro passo, skill. digamos assim. And as a place to start, you might focus on one specific skill. If you're playing an FPS game like Overwatch, CSGO, or Call of Duty, this might be your gun accuracy. If you're playing another game like a MOBA, it could be something as simple as your creep score. Whatever skill it is, define it by a specific number, whatever your average is at this point, and then set a goal for what you want to improve it to. With an example of in-game accuracy, perhaps your accuracy is around 18%, and then you decide that you want to improve it to about 20 or 22%. In order to do this, you realize the best way to accomplish it is by practicing in bot matches for at least an hour every day. And so your immediate goal is to improve your accuracy from 18% to say 22% by practicing one to two hours per day in a bot match. Once you've successfully accomplished that small goal, it'll be time to move on to the next one. And so the key here is to continuously break down each step into small immediate goals that you can act ah, para você ir quebrando etapas com pequenos objetivos, né? Então não adianta você dar um pulo maior que a perna, você tem que ir com... Então, ah, meu objetivo é começar a ganhar as screens open, depois ah, meu objetivo é entrar na pro, ah, meu objetivo é ganhar earnings. Então, você tem o seu objetivo final e você tem que ver como é que você vai fazer para chegar nele. Really measure and work towards every single day. And as a side note, if you have trouble figuring out what skill you should be improving, perhaps do a little bit of research on YouTube or maybe even check out our video on skill development. But to sum up the process of creating your plan, set a compelling, exciting, and long-term goal, something that gets you excited. Perhaps this is to get sponsored by a gaming organization. From there, break down that big goal into smaller steps. Perhaps step one is climbing from diamond rank to master rank, and then using online platforms to enter tournaments, and finally reaching out to gaming organizations once you're at a high enough skill. Ele fala, ele fala das etapas, né? Primeiro pega um rank bom, depois entra com uma organização, não necessariamente nessa ordem. Level. And then finally, break down those steps into actionable smaller goals, things that you can work towards every day. Often this will mean breaking down your skill development into specific skills so that you can measure your progress and improve every day. Isso é legal também, você especificar numa skill. Ah, eu não sou bom em fazer rotação. Ah, eu não sou bom em fazer expansão de box. Foca nisso até ficar bom. Né? Diminuir em pequenas etapas para poder alcançar o objetivo. And to take this all a bit of a step further, Write down your goals and display them somewhere where you will continuously see them and continuously be reminded of them every single day. Legal. One of the best ways to do this is by writing down your goals, taking a picture of it, and making that your screensaver on your legal, phone legal, or on your legal. computer. 
Ele fala para adotar os objetivos para não, like this, you'll constantly be reminded throughout the day of what you need to accomplish next. And you'll be programming your brain to be attracted towards that goal. Mostrar para o seu cérebro qual é o objetivo que você quer, tá ligado? In the realm of esports, it is hard to find ambitious players who are equipped with the mental skills to actually make their dream a reality. And as a result, most players gain a surge of inspiration and an idea that they'd love to become a pro only for this idea to become distant, to become a fleeting vision that fizzles out. But with the proper plan of action and conscious effort to set goals and make progress each day, an ambitious player like yourself is much more likely to discover the path to the pro scene, to navigate past the biggest hurdles and to actually become a professional player. Legal, legal. Cara, esse, eu gostei muito desse canal, na moral. Então, cara, ele diz pra você botar um objetivo, ser ambicioso, dividir em tarefas, anotar as tarefas, tá ligado? É muito importante você sempre estar tá lembrando o seu cérebro o que, que você quer, qual é o seu objetivo, por que, que você tá fazendo aquilo. Pegue as skills que você não é muito bom e valorize elas, treine elas pra você ficar melhor. Acho que é isso. Não é isso? É isso.